right, uh, I got these out of the radio, and so uh, let's let's play with them a bit. Uh, there's not much I can do with this one because it's missing all of the uh, it's missing all of the crystals on here. Um, this section over here is actually a mixer. Uh, so once the frequency has been generated, it gets mixed with an LO or generates an LO or something like that. So that's why there's some uh, coils in the back here to do some uh, to do some mixing. Uh, so this one's this one's not too much of interest right now. Maybe later it will be. But this is the one that has the uh, switch on it, and it's mounted directly to this thing. And uh, I have uh, a whole bunch of actually there's ten crystals in here. And each crystal has a um, variable capacitor, so you can dial in each one very, very accurately. And then there's a, an open space uh, here for your own crystal, okay? So I found a crystal, we'll just, we'll just plug it in for fun, okay? So we, so we have a crystal, we have a crystal in there, so if we select that crystal, we'll see if it, if it works or not, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going, let me rearrange, rearrange camera here. All right, so I have it here, so we can turn the little, turn the little dial here, okay? And we're going to start at V, and V says pass through the VFO. So that comes in on this wire here, and there's nothing attached. So if we go to the oscilloscope, we see that there's a, that there is nothing, nothing there. Um, and then if I go to the first click, um, we get uh, eleven point. Five, four, nine, and we go to the next click. That's this is zero. This says one is two, six, four, eight, and then two is four, seven, four, nine. Anyway, you see, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, two, nine, five. Here, let's uh, change the resolution here to five. That'll speed it up a bit. There we go. We'll go back. Yeah, this is faster. So zero is three five five, two six five, four seven five, three eight five, two nine five, five oh five, four one five, three two five, five three five, four four five, and then there's the crystal that I stuck in. And that one is a one one four one four four megahertz crystal, so it's measuring uh, six point one four three five. So anyway, uh, there you go. So that's what this little box does. Uh, it just has a whole bunch of whole bunch of crystals in it with really fine adjustments. And I'm not sure what to do with this thing, but let's take a look at the schematic. That's at least that's interesting. Okay, I've redrawn the schematic that I found. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of crystals. There's 10 crystals plus the one I added, 11 crystals, and they go into a very simple, a very simple oscillator. Uh, there's a transistor that's uh, basically biased in the middle, uh, 22k and 10k, and uh, then it has a positive feedback capacitor. So when this thing starts to wiggle because of these LC networks, um, that's going to wiggle this point, and that wiggles in phase. So when this goes down, uh, this is going down. And when this is going up, this is going up. So you get a little bit of positive feedback here. So this helps it go in the, in the direction that it wants to go. And so positive feedback ends up being, being an oscillator. Okay, So that is the oscillator portion. Very simple. And then it gets capacitively coupled into uh, the next section, which is just a little buffer amplifier. Um, and yeah, there you go. So that's all there is to this. It's just two transistors and a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of trans uh, uh, crystals and uh, and capacitors, and that's uh, all that was jammed up in that little box.